Good morning, students. I am Dr. Pandi Ahu, Associate Professor, School of Education, Tamil Nadu Open University. Today, we are going to see a tale of this uh, 16 year course code, 16 year course, Teaching of Science. In Teaching of Science, we are going to see the aim and objectives of teaching of science. So just we are uh, first we are example, we are going to see the um, taxonomy. What is taxonomy? The author Bruce he designed the uh, taxonomy in the education. So we have, you know already we will have about the Bruce taxonomy. This is what the Bruce taxonomy is the design of our educational system. Okay, Bruce. Uh, it is he given this education objectives of the educational objectives is a hierarchical ordering of a skill in different domain whose primary use to help the teaching uh, uh, help to the teaching for teachers and help the students for learning process uh, effectively and efficiently the meaning of blooms that can be understood by exploring these three learning, the three different domains are there for learning process. One is a cognitive process which will happen in the brain level. Affective, this is environment and psychomotor. Each of these domains further consists into hierarchy of that, you know, different level of learning. The fact of each domain is a hierarchical mean that learner need to move through these domains, these three domains, that is a cognitive, affective, and psychomotor domains, um, once, uh, any one at a one step at a time. Okay. They cannot process a new level without com completing the previous one. So, uh, stage by stage, that will post. For example, uh, um, in the Bloom Stack Summary, for basically knowing that is a knowledge, understanding, application, skill level. After developing the skill, then application, then application level, uh, then cognitive process will happen. After cognitive process, the vector cognitive process will happen. Then after after meta cognitive process, the beyond cognitive process is there at present in the new group stacks already. Okay. In this level, every stage will come. Uh, you, you can go one by one step. After knowledge, after getting the knowledge, you will get the knowledge from the teachers, from the book and other environment sources. You will receive the knowledge in different aspect and different way. After this, knowledge will develop in the form of understanding. How the understanding process will happen means from different aspects, different sources, in your earlier knowledges, uh, you will uh, correlate the new information uh, the, what you receive from your teacher or any books or any new information, any new sources, uh, you will compare with your earlier knowledge, which is uh, you will learn from your birth to till date. Then you will understand with the correlate something and you relate something and you understand in your own way. Then that will go to next level application. After uh, understanding, you will apply. In what way you will apply to teach, the mode of teaching way, or uh, you re reply, and um, you will writing uh, the way of writing the examination and other things, and saying your talk, and you will reply through words and verbal and uh, communication, different way, application and skill development. After you understand how the skill will develop from the uh, and information knowledge you received from your teacher or any information you will develop your skill and that writing skill or reading skill or of your uh, your expert on the particular part so and so and then skill the cognitive process the cognitive process when that will happen in your brain uh, which is a uh, uh, this is a thinking process how that thinking process uh, that will happen after well understanding a particular part of the information 
in the cognitive process the thinking process will happen the particular method so after the cognitive process and uh, metacognitive process will happen the metacognition is thinking about thinking yeah, so and then understanding about understanding so so come um, then beyond the thinking uh, that will happen that uh, the beyond thinking process and uh, in this level that is a uh, invention mode of thinking will come after the cognitive process and uh, new and uh, about you are thinking a particular part and the invention mode new ideas will develop in the particular aspect this is a bloom stack something from stage by stage will happen now we will clearly as uh, in one by one then the stage by stage of bloom stack something um, it help the teachers and learners for learning process and even teaching process also it help to organize and collect the information in a methodological manner that is a systematic manner one by one system with the step work. this is a first one which comes first which come left next which come third like that and incentivize this teacher and learner to constant upskill and upskill themselves and so uh, from the information they will develop themselves in the in the next level and they build a team spirit and promote a value value of that say so the team spirit will come in between that uh, student teacher and in between the uh, within this uh, group of the students and friends so this uh, team spirit will come and uh, promote the value of uh, what they learned and other thing and through through its hierarchy the step of a series of goals and learners can aspire to achieve so from that the information they will go to the next level to develop themselves for the next level of the uh, multiple domain categories a different element of learning allowing teachers and learner to promote the domains where they might be lacking insight and information okay it involves the both the theoretical knowledge and as a practical application so that the learning process is the holistic aspect of the uh, possible holistic approach will possible okay whether it may be a theoretical or in a, um, uh, uh, this is a practical approach so you will fulfill the understanding process or uh, uh, knowledge information gathering information in a full uh, full set or a full whole way can be used in a creative wide variety of um, assessment and then assignment and other things and simplify and complicate the activity order to track the learning process more um, accurate then accurately okay or uh, is a create a digital application so you know very well about the, the present or uh, is a digitalized world so you will apply the digital applications uh, the this related groups etc and other things you will go through that and you will enhance your knowledge and uh, so on and uh, globe stacks are we already have uh, i told you the globe stacks are divided remember understanding apply analyze evaluate create and the remember in the means in the sense that the knowledge knowledge level knowledge level you will recollect the earlier information you what you receive the knowledge you recollect the information from the nearer sources and you remember the uh, information and understand with the earlier information you understand the concept of the group taxonomy or concept of the particular what the teacher did to you and you will understand with the earlier information to new one and apply this application you know that they apply wherever it is applicable you will apply the knowledge in the form of writing skill then uh, reading skill and uh, speaking skill and so on so different various uh, aspect how they ask and the same way you will apply the information what you gain from the teacher or again from your one way or so on so then analyze whether the data you in the information is correct or correct or not so you will receive one information from from your neighbor uh, at the time you will analyze whether this information is correct or not like that you will analyze the same uh, then 
you will go uh, regarding that you will think over the things then you will react accordingly and evaluate so how much this is valid that information you received from this neighbor or your friends or someone yeah, then you evaluate yourself in the same sense in that uh, you will apply in the education uh, knowledge information also and that is evaluate yourself and after the evaluating if this information is very uh, truthful and this is valuable one means you will go a little higher in that then after the course will be the creative this these things so the creative is a cognitive process will happen in your brain thinking thinking about thinking knowing about knowing understanding about understanding and that process will happen after this uh, the stages uh, complete those stages this is knowledge level that is you remember then goes to understanding then goes to apply then analyze then evaluate after all the aspect stage by stage that information you create a new information that is a new idea and you of your own idea uh, that is a creative state and then uh, this uh, Uh, group starts and it divides into three domains that is a cognitive domain affective domain and uh, psychomotor domain the cognitive domain is a group starts and it learning um, try to create a group starts and it objectives as a critical thinking solving problem solving creating and enhancing the knowledge based based on the knowledge they will develop all those things there's a critical thinking problem solving and creating and enhancing their knowledge basis this was the first domain created by the blooms taxon blooms original team of research research so the blooms taxon blooms mr bloom and other team they create the uh, they found these uh, domains then remember concern with the all kind of memorization technique and optimal use of information occur in the past so they are collecting they collecting information of here their information they have collected to really to till now okay then understand what they understand from they will relate that earlier information to present information what they receive they understand the concept and apply concern with applying the knowledge to produce something um attentive to the uh, so so political way political ch- challenges uh, from 5 decades ago and applying the issues that is uh, this is application at the um they will collect the information of earlier uh, collecting the information in many way that is uh, that might be the uh, for example the historic information so then they will go and search the history the several decades of the earlier information so they will collect and search which is correct and other things also then they will apply for the same then analyze concern with examining and scrutinizing a different aspect which was being learned so they analyze so what they what they they learn from one from the new information then they will evaluate and then detecting and motivating an intention behind the event and process and situation and then next level is create with building something that original and constructive for constructive it's a original and constructive And this is a create this is a own ideas they create but they um, uh, this is a you know very well about that you are, you are a b ed student you yourself in the ug level and pg level but the stage 1 by 2 one to up to the level the stage you are up to fifth standard you are general subject you might learn after to the sixth standard to 10th standard you will little bit uh, elaborately you learn after first after 10th standard you will the unique subject you will chose the unique subject and they uh, you want that done in the ug level you specific subject you will choose and learn in the pg level the specification is little higher specification the unique specification will come when you come to the research level the, the uh, single part 
this is how you are experiencing the single uh, single parent right uh, you will find a new way so this is kind of that uh, stage by stage you will develop yourself that time you will create your new ideas so that new ideas will come after well understanding that information what you uh, learn from your learn from your from the books or syllabus or the information received from your teacher and other things by then you learned in the school level college level and uh, even pg level and so on so then you will new but in your the thinking process will happen stage by stage and the new ideas will particular part new ideas will create after you thoroughly know the knowledge and understand the knowledge apply the knowledge and develop your skill on the particular knowledge then this new idea will emerge then affecting domain it is a different part is a receiving responding value this receiving the playing adequate attention of someone who is presenting or performing also in part of the uh, the teachers will uh, deliver the lectures you will learn a lot of things so that is a receiving and responding after receiving you understand something then you respond with your teacher and value if teacher or any other of your friends will give the information you will evaluate the worth of the information that is a value then organization how that will organization so after receiving this information you will organize this information from your earlier information and received information and together you find something and then you will organize step by step the gist of which comes first which come next to so and so like that characterization is projecting one's value in a real time to be able to work successfully in a team and then characterization is something some work if you are doing any project what means the team work you are doing this is the characterization and then psychometer that is reflects basic fundamental moments and perceptual abilities okay and then reflection uh, uh, reflex motor this is a psychomotor is divided into these three it is a reflex this is an incentive response of physical stimulus so moving and uh, you are how you are responding um uh, how you are acting for a particular work like that is a reflex action basic fundamental movements this is a everyday action or uh, movements such as uh, walking or running are the basic fundamental movements of your day to day life these are psychomotor this is uh, this related to your physical and perceptual ability performing activities that integrate more than one sensory perception you are having five senses also more than one sensory that will relate a perceptual perceptual abilities for example how you perceive the this is so you receiving you are seeing on your uh, video or uh, this movie or anything you will receive and you are hearing the audio video will come you will hear something after that that will goes to your brain with the help of the neurons that will goes to your brain and brain will understand with the earlier information then you will understand the particular concepts and skill the moments once at once uh, attribute to a challenging environment that is a skilled movement also you will develop the skill in particular your students will develop their own skill for writing skill your own style you will develop and speaking skill okay so on so non destructive communication the expressing oneself through purposeful movement and activity any purpose means is uh, for information this this is a um, uh, this activity based or this is a purpose means if you are necessary you have, means you will do the this uh, during the examination the purposeful examination purpose you are studying also so on like that this is for your information so already we did they go to the cognitive affective cycle matter these are the Uh, this is a domain so the cognitive domain evaluation here basic to upwards okay knowledge 
comprehension, application, analyzing, synthesis, and evaluation. This is a cognitive affective domain. Receiving, responding, valuing, organization, and characterization by value uh, that value should be. Then here, reflex moving, basic fundamental movement, perceptual movement, and physical activity, and skilled movement, and then non destructive communication. Transfer of your learning experience. Then this is a transformation. As a, as a permit, already I told you that um, this is a knowledge level, understanding level, application level, and then um, cognitive process, then metacognitive process, then goes to beyond cognition, that is the invention mode of thinking. 